Hey everybody! Welcome to Learning Sunday, where every Sunday we learn something together. I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to learn this week, and you said, how the US election works. Now, most of my viewers are from America, but that doesn't necessarily mean that most of my viewers know how the election works. Now this video is not for one president or the other, this is just me telling you guys how the election works and telling you to get out there and vote. Cause that's what makes our country great, is our ability to vote for who rules us. Okay, so you guys ready to learn together? Ready? Begin! All right, so America is a democracy. Therefore, we the people vote for who we want to be president. The president is like the boss of America for about four years and then there's a new election. A president can rerun for president, but he or she can only do that for two terms. So one term is four years and you have a max of two terms. So we can only have one person for president for eight years. Now, America has two main huge political parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. They they hold different views on how the government should work, what the laws should be, things like that. There are also a, a lot of other parties such as the Green Party, the Libertarians, the Constitution Party, and the Natural Law Party, but those parties never win. So we're basically going to focus on the Republicans and the Democrats. Now if you want to become president, there are a few requirements. One, you have to be a natural born citizen, so you have to be born in America. You have to be at least 35 years old, so sadly I cannot run, and you have to have been a US resident for 14 years. So if you have completed all of those requirements, you can run! Step one, the primaries and the caucuses. People usually don't say caucuses, everyone just considers them the primaries. So in this stage, people that want to become president announce it and then they start campaigning their butts off. They spend millions, sometimes billions of dollars doing campaign work, which is flying to states, shaking hands, kissing babies. They also have debates between the people in their parties that are also running for president. So the, all the Republicans debate each other, all the Democrats debate each other, and all the other parties, no one lets them debate each other. <laughs> so once everyone has campaigned their little butts off, then it's time for the nominating convention. This is when America decides who they want to represent their parties. So all the Democrats vote for who they want to be their Democratic leader. The main two people in this last election were Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. They were fighting to be the Democratic nominee. And then in the Republican side, there were a million different candidates. So when America votes for who they want to represent them, it's not based on the popular vote, it's based on the delegates. In America, when we vote, our votes count, but they don't go as popular vote. It's not like, oh, this person got this millions of votes, and this person got this millions of votes. It's delegates vote for us. Delegates represent our votes. So, nominating convention. The people in the parties are running against the people in their own parties, and people vote for who in those parties they want to represent in the final election. Got it? In America, the Democrats overall, through the delegates, have chosen Hillary Clinton. In the Republican Party, the delegates have chosen Donald Trump. And then, the two final candidates, well, there are more because of the third parties, but the main two final candidates start campaigning against each other. And then it comes down to the Electoral College, which is election day. And it is the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November, every four years. Now, in order to vote, you have to be at least 18 years old and a US citizen. It is always those two things, but they add on other things depending on which state you're in. You also have to be registered to vote, but the register cutoff date depends on the state. That's why you have to look into it ahead of time. So in the Electoral College, everyone votes within their state, and then those votes get transferred into electoral votes. Votes. Each state has a different amount of electoral votes and it's based on the population of that state. There are 538 electoral votes split among the states. And then the nominee who wins the most electoral votes gets to become president in January. So in November we find out and in January he or she becomes president. Because that's how our voting works. So I urge you if you're 18 or older, please go vote. I don't care who you're voting for. I mean, I, I, I do, but it's a big deal and it determines who's running our country for the next four years, unless they get impeached, that someone else steps in. So this was a very basic thing of how the election happens or is supposed to happen, but I love you guys so much. I subscribe to see videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday on this channel. Every Sunday we learn something together. Like this video if you liked it, and remember guys, above all else, pre-order my book. But stay awesome, possums.